So we're here at Cowfinger, which is American hook lift slash pal finger. And um, we're at their yard. We're picking up some parts today. And here's all their pal finger stuff getting ready to be installed. You know, future stock of trucks. A pretty awesome day. That's all the jibs for the uh, pal finger hook trucks. And um, we're here today to buy some parts. And we figured we'd use this day to uh, kind of like showcase pal finger and you know why we use this company and why when we buy our trucks from Hunter, you know why we come to pal finger. They're incredible. They're, I, I, I love this place. I'm like a kid in a candy shop here. We're gonna you know take a look around, show you guys you know some behind the scenes how it's made at pal finger. We'll be in touch. We're here at Palfinger, American Roll-Off Palfinger. We're excited. There's, I mean, this place is freaking amazing. I mean, they got stock upon stock lined up, ready to go. Here's the, uh, the trucks for future customers lined up. They have more trucks in the back. If you look back here, there's a whole lot full of trucks ready to go. I mean, this place is just amazing. And if you notice on the trucks, I want to point something out to you. Check these welds out. I mean, that's like laying some dimes if I've ever seen it. I mean, that these things are any items that I've ever gotten from Palfinger and and or American, depending on what you're buying, is everything is just completely, completely beautiful. Even the uh, paint jobs. Here's another roll off. Here's a heavy duty inside outside rail. Inside outside rail. Sweet, that's a nice that's a nice unit right there, man. Look at that. That's a heavy, heavy duty truck. It's probably 80,000 pound hoist. They'll probably put the plaque on it after it's built. But there's all the trucks back there ready to get built. And um, we're gonna go inside and, and take some videos and, and check out a truck today. This is what it looks like, guys. This is what it looks like when you're getting a, a cable truck built from Palfinger American. Here it is, check it out. Look at that, guys, Hunter. There's a Hunter roll-off being built. This doesn't get any more beautiful than this. I think it's a 356. Three, three, That's a nice truck. 15 liter. That's a deal right there, guys. Telescopic cylinders. Yet people have their own um, theories on telescope versus non-telescope. Tails hitting the ground, inside, outside rail. A lot of guys don't know what that means. That's an outside, inside rail. Tell you what, guys, that is nice right there. That's what it looks like, guys, when you get your new roll-off cable hoist. We're going to go check out some um, hook trucks. I know it's not a cable and I know it's not a, a single axle P220. That is a Kenworth T880, my friend. And that is bad to the bone. That is a T50 Palfinger hook truck, auto tarper, 15 liter. Look at the mechanisms on the back here, guys. I mean, there's two identical um, T880s. This is what it looks like when you're getting your uh, hook truck built from Palfinger. And this place is just cram packed full of trucks. I mean, this place is busy, busy, busy. I mean, you just don't get any more professional. You don't get any more um, quality build than this place. Check out down there, man. Look how big this place is. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a quick peek behind the welding curtains. Look at this place, dude. Holy cow. On the money when it comes to what you get for your money. The reason this place is as busy as it is is because Palfinger equates to perfection. Palfinger equates to awesomeness. I don't even know, I mean, when, when I come into this place, every time I come into this place and pick up parts, I come in here and I'm just in awe over, you know, what you get for your money. If you just look at their welds and, you know, the quality of the bolts and the quality of, I mean, just the welds themselves. If you look at, if you look at the welds before they're actually done painting, anyone can grind them, but they are professional before they grind them and they're professional before they paint them. There's nothing hidden by, you know, grinding down welds here. Everything is beautiful. Even their gussets that they use and even their, is bent and offset so they're nothing stressed and they don't just you know make this straight and put washers behind it they actually bend it and make it professional here's the uh the kenworth that's getting ready auto probably six seven six speed allison 4500 series probably what this is is a um wireless 
tarper, and this is an electric tarper over hydraulic. So what'll happen is, is like this is an electric, and then there's your hydraulic tank. It's a separate hydraulic tank for your tarper, so this will drive your hydraulic tank, which is right there, and that's electric, and that'll spin a motor and drive your hydraulics up and down. So it's called electric over hydraulic. That is that runs your your tarper. And just to be quite frank, I'm a little split. That's that's actually an electric motor versus a hydraulic motor. Um, we just priced them. You could get those motors anywhere from $600 to $1,000, but that motor in hydraulic is about $1,400. So I'm split on which way to go with that. Here's the jigs for, they'll put the rails and stuff in here. I don't know if that's a robot or not, to be honest with you. I know that's a jig though. And what they'll do is they'll put this in the jig and they'll build right off that jig. So everyone's made exactly the same. Here's more rails. Switch your, there's all the stock, some stock back there. Now guys, this is just like one like area of the uh, of this place. This place is like three times as big as what I'm even able to get on video. I'm just trying to, you know, here's some tarpers that are ready to go. This place is just amazing. Look at all these cylinders. Just walls and walls of cylinders and these are telescoping cylinders right here. I mean it's just amazing. Just there's a paint booth right here. It doesn't get any cleaner than this. Is it? That's the most, that's the least grease you're ever gonna see on this truck. <laughs> I could lick those rails right now. You'd never be able to lick them again. It's so new. You could even tell where the, bam. Oh no, don't touch the paint. Check it out. Look at that guys. Hunter. 